So today we're going to be taking apart a Dirt Devil Gator 10.8 volt cordless vacuum. Let's see if I can get some more details for you on the back here. <coughs> this is made by Royal Appliance Manufacturing Company, uh, Glen Willow, Ohio, model BD10100. And it has a three year warranty. Doesn't say when it was made though, unfortunately. It's always interesting. I don't know why it interests me when, when things are made, but it is interesting. So let's take a look and see what's inside it. Why don't we? This one has a bunch of screw holes, but it'll be interesting. Oh yeah. The screws seem to be coming out okay. And say so some things that have these recessed holes are always kind of a pain in the butt to get open. I don't really know why. I think they designed them that way so you don't open them. But apparently they haven't seen this channel because we will open anything. And if we can't open, then what do we do? We take it to the basement and we persuade it to open with a little bit of encouragement. You just gotta find the right screwdriver for the screw. This is a weird shaped Phillips one. I don't know why this one fits it, but it does. You'll see I have a whole bucket of screwdrivers over here. And that's so I don't have to make 47 trips to the basement because I did that the first couple videos and that got old quick. So I finally wised up, brought a whole tote of them up. And that way I don't have to go back and forth, back and forth. All right, my suspicion was correct. These screws are kind of a pain in the butt to get out, but they will come out. Otherwise we'll go down the basement, we'll cut this thing right in half, and then we'll continue. But no, actually it seems like they're coming out okay. There's one on this far side right here. No, it actually it might be turning all the way. All right, let's see. Let's pop, let's see. Let's pop this apart, I'm not sure how this works. Oh, I have a little extension nozzle, look at that. That's fancy, isn't it? Pretty durable too. All right, let's take that off. Close my eyes so I don't poke myself in the eye with something. Because it's bound to happen because little pieces have flown everywhere. So I'll find them later. All right, so this is just a little piece of injection mold plastic with a couple little springs on there. See if we can pull this. That's oh, that's awesome. I just dumped it all on the uh, table. Oh well. So that's just a little filter with a rubber gasket around it, or cheap plastic actually. It's not even really rubber. Well, would you look at that? We got I think one more screw I missed, or did I miss it? No, I think I got that one. I did not get these two though. These two were behind the filter, or the filter housing. So I'm gonna get these two out. And we should be able to take this cover off at that point. It only had about 4,000 screws in it, so it should be held together pretty good. Apparently China is upping their game in their plastic producing business. Let's see, where was this made? Well, I already said that. Glenwell, Ohio manufactured there. 
So I wonder if that actually means it was manufactured or they had the injection mold the pieces and all brought shipped over and then they assembled it there. You kind of wonder. It's one of those mysteries of where was it made? Is it really made here? Is it made somewhere else? Hard tone, but we'll see. All right, so let's see if we can pop this thing apart yet or not. Ouch, pinch my finger. There we go. All right, I think we got all the screws. I hope, I hope, hope, hope. All right, we did. Look at that sticker holding it together. It's extra manufacturing bonus. All right, a little piece of uh, injection mold plastic. We'll get rid of that. And this is weird. All right, two little pieces of injection mold plastic. We'll get rid of that and a screw. And what do we have here? So this is the on and off button, a little LED indicator light. Has all the wiring. Pretty much goes straight through. One end goes to copper bearing motor, or two wires do actually, and one goes to rechargeable batteries. Has a small fuse in between it, you can see. Fuse looks good. It's an interesting way of doing a fuse. I've never seen that. Which is odd because you, you, you can't really get into this to replace that fuse. So I don't know why they actually made it in this injected plastic because it's not really accessible. I guess it must be just a cheaper way. Anywho, let's see, we've got these rechargeable batteries. Let's see if I can push these out. Or if I need to pry these up, yep. Probably these little tabs up. All right, let's cut these apart, shall we? Without getting shocked. Probably hasn't held a charge in a long time, but I don't really want to get zapped today either. That little guy was holding it. Let's get him off of there. There we go. So we got all these little rechargeable batteries. It says recycle, uh, nickel cadmium batteries, 1.2 volt. And we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of them. Put together in a weird fashion, but hey, it works. Get rid of those. And then all we got is this little plastic housing. We got a little turbine in there is what I call them. You can call them probably what they're supposed to be called, but I just like calling them a turbine. Let's see if I can pop that apart so we can show you inside. I think this comes apart, it looks like. Pop a couple of these little off. It's easier just to break it than to actually undo the clip. Alright. So that's probably heat injected molded in there. There are two screws on the back though, so I wonder if I take this off. What do you say we take these screws off the back of it that might hold that piece on? 
might be a possibility. Let's try this screwdriver. There we go. There's the magic one. And let's see if that pops the front off. And would you look at that, it did. It's a little bit easier than prying it, isn't it? But maybe not quite as fun. Let's get all those pieces through. We'll get that plastic out of the way. Cut these extra wires off. We don't need them, obviously. Because this vacuum no longer works. All right. So we have this little piece of injection mold plastic stuck on the front of a copper bearing motor as we've been over with pretty much every uh, video. It has a small bit of uh, copper wrapped around the center uh, axle basically. Spins around, drives the shaft, spins, in this case of the vacuum, uh, reverse and it gets the uh, 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 air sucked up in there pulls it through the filter and puts it in a little storage compartment. So that's pretty cool. I've never taken apart a cordless vacuum. So in case you're ever wondering, now you know, just like I do. All right guys, as always, if you would please like, share, and subscribe. If you have ideas for future videos, let me know. If you have questions, let me know. And if you have something you would like to send me for me to take apart, as always, I'm up for it. All right guys, thank you, have a good day.